Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today we're going to speak about newsletters, their settings, and features. Let's begin. Newsletters and all related features are added by the newsletters add on. So, before diving into details, let's go and check the add on settings. Settings allows us to set the number of newsletters sent per step, choose the method of sending emails, enter SMTP data if we select the SMTP server for sending emails. You can find a promo code that will be given at subscription on the corresponding promotion page in the Promotions tab. You can also choose not to give a promo code. Click Save to save the changes. Now we can go to Marketing, Newsletters, Get Newsletters and create our own newsletter. Click the plus button to begin. Subject. The subject of the newsletter displayed at the subject field of the email. Random subjects. You can enter several newsletter subjects if it is required. If you send this newsletter several times, the subject will be selected from the list randomly. Enter the content of the newsletter into the HTML body. You can use the visual editor or enter HTML code. Load a template to save time preparing the newsletter. Templates can be created at Newsletters – Templates. By the way, loading a template will replace anything you entered in the HTML body field. Include the newsletter into the marketing campaign if you previously created one at Newsletters – Campaigns. Campaigns help you to gather statistics on newsletters. Finally, set the status for your newsletter. Now we're going to specify the newsletter recipients in the Send to section. To receive newsletters, users subscribe to mailing lists. By default in CS Card, this opportunity is provided at checkout and at the registration page. Mailing lists organize customers into groups that you later send newsletters to. To create new mailing lists, go to Newsletters – Mailing Lists. Then you can add customers manually, for example, to address them in a personal manner. The unsubscribe link does not appear in the emails of these customers. Send your newsletter to customers with abandoned cards or wish lists or both. You can limit the newsletter recipients by store or by the number of days since the card or a wish list was abandoned. And before sending the newsletter to a customer, we recommend to send it to a test email. Click the Send button next to the field to send the newsletter to that email only. Let's do that. Here is the test letter. We check if everything is alright, return to the newsletter page and click Save and Send. Newsletters have been sent to customers. So, create mailing lists and autoresponders, gather subscribers, prepare templates and start sending newsletters to reach potential customers and raise sales. Thanks for watching and see you in the next year's current videos.